Hey guys, Richard Holder here. How much are bolt-on modifications worth on your K24A 2345? Choose your weapon. This one's JDM. Let's find out. In this video, we're going to take a look at bolt-on modifications on a K24A2, essentially. It's a JDM version, but it's the same thing. We're talking about a 200 horsepower VTEC K-Series 2.4 liter motor. We're going to try a couple of different intake manifolds, a couple of different headers, you know, the normal bolt-on stuff before we dive in and start tearing apart the motor. Let's find out how much power they all made. Jealous and stuff, and all jelly. <laughs> you jelly over there? This is definitely longer, so it'll be interesting to see what. Um... It's a long ways away.
This test illustrates the importance of header choice. If you take a look at the dyno results, the smaller diameter primaries, longer tri-wide design, produced more, not only more mid-range power, but didn't lose anything at the top. It produced a lot more in the middle, lost nothing at the top, and in fact, was down slightly at one RPM point right here. Other than that, small headers, definitely the way to go. test we decided to look at the intake part of the equation and replace the factory long runner RAA intake with a short runner skunk 2 intake as you can see here it lost a little bit of power down low way down to 2500 then traded power was a little bit better then dropped down below the factory intake see in the mid-range here but not by much but if we take a look at the top end we see the power jump from around 225 or 230 all the way up over 250 horsepower. Big gains from the skunk intake, especially on the top end. Sensor. We we're gonna need a soft, we we're gonna need a good. Yeah, golf ball. Okay, let it off. Do it again. Let it off. Cool. Because the guys at Skunk 2 happened to have one on a motor ready to test, we decided to try a Kinsler stack injection, and I'm glad we did, especially after we take a look at the power gains. Now, picked up power down low, traded a little bit in the middle, but picked up big time after that. Pushed peak power all the way up to 272 horsepower, so we saw some solid gains through the most of the power curve. Good choice on the Kinsler stuff. Also, it looks awesome. Okay guys, what do you think about part one on our K24A2-ish <laughs> JDM, JDM 200 horsepower version of our K24 2.4 liter Honda Acura motor? We tried a couple of different intake manifolds, we kind of tried a couple of different headers, and it just goes to show you, the right header makes all the difference in the world. Even if it doesn't pick up any peak power or necessarily any peak torque, 
Sometimes they do. It sure changes the power through the rest of the curve. The same thing with intake manifolds. We tried the factory intake manifold that came with this motor. We also tried a cool Skunk 2 intake manifold and then tried this double throwdown IR individual runner stack injection. All of them cool, all of them effective, but at different engine speeds. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. More K24 stuff coming up.